This is Advanced Algebra Lesson 8-6, Quotients with Radicals. The main focus of this lesson is learning how to rationalize the denominator. When we think about the fraction 1 over two, the square root of 2, and we try to approximate the value of that without a calculator, it becomes quite difficult. To use long division is not possible because you cannot divide by the square root of 2 because the square root of 2 requires you to calculate 1.412313 and which continues on and we can't be done, do that by hand. So instead we came up with a process called rationalizing the denominator. Basically what it is doing is rewriting it as a fraction so that the denominator is rational. So in general to rationalize a denominator of a over the square root of x, we're going to multiply by the square root of x over the square root of x because the square root of x times the square root of x, or over the square root of x is really essentially a form of the value of 1. We know we can multiply by 1 and not change the value. So if I do that, a over the square root of x times the square root of x over the square root of x, that will equal a times the square root of x over x because the square root of x times the square root of x is the same as x. So now we end up with a value that looks like this. So let's take a look at a value, the value of 5 over the square root of 45x. So we can do that by saying 5 over the square root of 45x is the same as 5 over the 45, the square root of 45x times the 45, square root of 45x over square root of 45x. We can multiply that out and we get 5 times the 45 the square root of 45x over 45x, or we can also simplify here. We can take uh, and simplify as 5 over 45. That becomes 1 over 9. So now we have the square root of 45x over 9x, and underneath that radical, square root of 45 is the same as the square root of 9 times 5, and we know the square root of 9 is 3, so we get 3 square root 5. So we can write, rewrite the square root of 45x as 3 times the square root of 5x over 9x. So that leaves us with a simplified fraction here of square root of 5x over 3x. We can also rationalize when the denominator is a sum containing a radical. So in general, to ra rationalize the denominator of n over a plus the square root of b, we can multiply on top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator, very much like we did with our complex numbers in chapter 6. So if n over the square root of a, or if n over a plus square root of b is equal to n over a plus square root of b, times a minus square root of b over a minus square root of b. We know that this can be a squared. This would be square root of um, a root b and a and minus a root b. And then square root of b times the negative square root of b would be just negative b. So we then have no radicals down here anymore. And we have n times a minus the square root of b. Let's try this with some an example problem. 2 over 3 minus the square root of 5. So we're going to take the conjugate of that. So that would be 3 plus the square root of 5 right here. Remember, 3 plus the square root of 5 over 3 plus the square root of 5 is the same as multiplying by 1. So I'm not changing its value, just changing how it looks. So 2 times 3 and 2 times the square root of 5 gives me 6 plus 2 root 5. Now remember, this is 3 times 3 is 9. This is plus 3 root 5, and then minus 3 root 5. And then this would be minus 5, because a negative square root of 5 times a positive square root of 5 is going to be a negative 5. Remember, this cancels out. That's why we use the, co the conjugate. So then 9 plus a negative 5 would give me 4. So now I can break this up. 6 over 4 as a fraction, and then 2 root 5 over 4. So I can simplify this to 3 and a 2, and I can simplify this to 1 and a 2. So that leaves me with 3 over 2 plus the square root of 5 over 2. I would now like you to try a couple examples here. I'd like you to do number 1, number 6, and I'd like you to try number 12 using the examples that we did in the video bring those to class with you and we'll discuss them the next time we see each other. This concludes Lesson 8-6.